Hey everyone, I'm Agus with Open Wheeler. Today we'll be doing a tutorial video of the assembly of a Gen 2 Open Wheeler cockpit. Stay tuned till the end of the video and we'll go over the available accessories and add-ons. First and foremost, let's go over what comes in your new Open Wheeler box. Go and open it up. We have the seat backrest, the main support tube, the small box with the assembly parts, the seat base. Let's go over what's inside the small box. The assembly manual, the tool and hardware kit, Steering plate assembly, the steering wheel post, the shifter top L bracket, shifter bottom L bracket, six handle knobs, and the pedal plate. Now let's go over the contents of the hardware bag. Bags A and B contain cockpit assembly hardware. Bag C and D contain universal mounting hardware for all major brand racing wheels and pedals. This includes Logitech, Thrustmaster, and Fanatec. Bag E contains hardware for the universal shifter bracket. Bags F and G contain all hardware needed to hard mount all manual shifters, Logitech, Thrustmaster, and Fanatec. There's also the cable ties, two open-ended wrenches, and two Allen keys. Included in the open wheeler package is all the hardware to hard mount any racing wheel, pedal, and shifter on the market right out of the box, direct bolt-on. First, we have to remove the pre-screwed hardware. There's two bolts in the backrest. and one bolt in the right side of the seat base. Once you've removed your pre-screwed hardware, you'll have to connect the backrest to the seat base. Like so. First, insert the large bolt on the right side of the seat base by hand. Thread it in. Then we move on to the left side of the seat. On the left side, we'll use the other two bolts that we removed that were pre-screwed in. We'll first align the bracket and the backrest and thread in the bolt about halfway. Proceed with the other bolt in the bottom hole of the three. Once you have your bolts halfway into the seat, we'll use the big open end wrench and the small Allen key to tighten the right hand side first. And then use the small Allen key to tighten the left side. Next, we will pull down the zipper to cover the bracket. We're going to connect the main support tube to the pedal plate. We're gonna be using the hardware bag A and the smaller open end wrench along with the smaller Allen key. We're gonna start by flipping over the pedal plate. If you can see, there's three sets of holes for offsetting the pedals to either side. For the tutorial, we'll use the center. We're gonna go ahead and take the support tube, set it down flush on the pedal plate. Then we will use the two identical bolts to come in at the base. Push it through, and then I will put a lock nut on it, hand tight. I'll do the same with the other bolt, put the other lock nut on here. Then we will take the black countersunk screw and put it through the bottom. Then we'll use the washer and the remaining lock nut hand tight. Once all three bolts are on, we will use the small Allen key and the small open end wrench to tighten them. We will start with the two at the base. And 
we're done. Next, we're gonna mount the steering wheel plate assembly into the steering post. It's gonna slide right in, and we're gonna wanna secure it with two knobs. From bag B, it's a small knob. This is gonna go in the side of the post. Thread it in, and then we'll use a large knob to go into the front. Hand tight. Then we're gonna take our pedal plate and main support tube and slide this on. Almost all the way. Then we'll use two large knobs to secure it. One knob's gonna go in the side nut and the other one in the top. And it's tight. And we're ready. Now we'll want to complete the assembly by connecting the pedal and the steering to the seat. We'll go ahead and lean back the backrest and slide in the main support tube into the seat frame. Then we'll use the large knob to secure it. All right, everybody. Now that we have our Gen 2 open wheeler racing cockpit and flight sim fully assembled, we're gonna mount the steering wheel and the pedals. Today, we're gonna mount Logitech gear. And for that, we're gonna use hardware in bag C. If you happen to have Fanatec gear, you'll need bag C and D. So I've got my hardware bag C and the small Allen key for mounting and I'll move everything else out of the way for now. Now I've got my Logitech gear, the pedals and the wheel. I'll just move the chair over to make it easier to mount. And then we'll use bag C to mount the pedals. Referring to the manual for the mounting pattern for the Logitech, I'll go ahead and get four bolts ready, pre-sliding the washers on the bolts. And I'll first hand thread them into the bottom of the plate. I'll put them in loosely first to give room for adjustment as the rest go in. And then I'll use the small Allen wrench to tighten them down. Now we'll mount the steering wheel. The Logitech has factory clamps that will loosen up to make sure it fits easy. Make sure the cable goes over the back. And then again, we'll use the bolts and put the washers on them. And referring to the manual, I'll use the Logitech mounting pattern to guide the bolts on. Just hand tight at first. Then tighten down with a small Allen key. Don't forget that the open wheeler comes with Velcro ties for cable management. Next, we're gonna mount the optional shifter bracket assembly. 
It's these two L brackets. This is the bottom piece, this is the top piece. Notice how the bottom piece has a longer side and a shorter side. This is, depends on which side goes into the frame. So if you have the optional seat riser seen on the blue chair in the back, you would make sure to use the short side going into the seat. In this case, we're gonna use the long side. To help you guys see better, we're gonna flip around the chair. So we'll start by sliding the top L bracket onto the bottom bracket, and then we'll use our two remaining knobs to secure it. There's four nuts, you can choose either two as long as you do two adjacent sides. Just hand tight. Then we will use a flathead screwdriver to pry off the end cap on this tube on the seat base. Come right off. And then we'll just go ahead and slide this into the seat base. Now to secure it, we'll need to use two bolts from bag E. These are the two bolts from bag E. We'll use them to secure this shifter bracket. I'll put the bolts in hand tight. This is my large Allen wrench. There. So I've got my Logitech shifter here. We'll use bag F to mount it. The top bracket has several holes pre-drilled and these accept all brand shifters, including Logitech, Thrustmaster, and Fanatec. So put the washers on the bolts. Slide the shifter on. And put the bolt through. And then do the same with the other bolt. You can use the small Allen wrench to assist in turning the bolts for better reach. and then tighten them down. Again, we can use the Velcro ties for cable management with this as well. All right. With the chair fully assembled, final step is adjustment. There's several zones of adjusting the chair. First, the backrest. Find what's comfortable. Seat can slide back and forth. Then we can move the pedals back and forth by loosening this handle knob here. I'm gonna pull them in closer. Tighten back down. Then I can move the steering wheel closer to me as well, loosening the knobs below. Retighten where comfortable. I can also move the steering wheel up and down by loosening the knobs on the post. I like it higher. Tighten the small knob first and then the big one. And finally find the tilt position of the steering wheel that you like. And then tighten down on the pivot bolt using the large wrench and the large Allen key. nice and tight. And then if you have the optional shifter, you can also adjust using the two bolts at the bottom to slide it out or inward, as well as 
moving it up or down using these two knobs. Slide it up and re-tighten. Now that everything's comfortable, I'm gonna go ahead and lock down the brakes on the wheels. So it doesn't move by accident. And we're ready to game. Now, if you're limited in space, we can break it down for storage. So we'll first loosen the knobs here and take out the steering wheel. Set it down. We'll loosen the main support tube and slide out the pedals. And then fold down the backrest. And we'll take the pedals, slide them into one of the holes on the backrest, and pack it up nice and tight. All right, guys, so as promised, I will show you some of the available accessories. We have a chair set up over here, all decked out with Fanatec racing gear. And then there's the open wheeler four point harness. This comes in three different colors camo, red, and black. On this chair here, we have the lumbar support and the neck support. Also the brackets with the base shakers mounted on both sides. We also have the Thrustmaster gear shifter and handbrake mounted together. Over here we have a flight sim setup featuring several options. We have five inch risers with a five degree slope for optimum comfort. We also have the HOTUS side-by-side -side setup. This has a Thrustmaster Warthog flight stick mounted on the center post. There's also a lower flight stick mount for when you're using the Thrustmaster Warthog with the extension. We also have a dedicated rudder plate for the pedals. This is compatible with all brands of pedals. And in the back we have frame extensions. These are great for safely reclining when you don't have all the gear on the front offsetting the weight. Thank you for watching the video. I hope this was beneficial in getting your gear set up as quickly as possible. Catch us next time and be sure to subscribe.